Okay, I'm removing the scuff plate right here. There's like some little clips like right here, 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 and there. I forget where. But, and then there's another one over here, and this one's different. So, I'm just gonna go underneath here, like this, and just pry up on this. Put that underneath there, go over here. There, and just kind of lift up on this thing. The clip is right here, I can feel it. So I'll just lift up on that and then move over. Here's the next one, I can feel it. Like that, and then I'll just move over. And the next one's right there. There that one goes. And there's one more down here, like that. So that's how you do it, real easy. And then there's one that's like right here, but it holds on like this. So you gotta pull this this way. Like that. There you go. Okay, I was removing this scuff plate right here from my Mazda Speed Miata and I thought I would make a short video on what the back side of this thing looks like so that if somebody wants to remove this, they can remove it. But, like there's like these little clips right here. These things, they fit into these holes right there and then there's just one alignment pin right here and it fits into that hole and all I did is just put this underneath there I don't know if it was that great to use that but I just put it under underneath it and then just kind of lift it up with my fingers and this just kind of popped upward off of there the only problem that I had was in this area right over here this thing it clips onto this metal and then there's like a little groove thing right there that it fits into. I'll get it out here into the light. So you can see what it looks like. But that's what it looks like right there. But what I had to do to get that off is I had to pull this thing laterally like that. So. I just kind of pulled it laterally and then it released. So that's pretty much how you take this thing off, but it's good to know what is underneath it so that you don't, you know, pry and break clips and stuff like that. That's what I get worried, but that's my video. I hope it helps. Okay, now it's time to install this thing. So here we go. I'll just kind of get underneath here and align these things like that and then all the clips are like right in here so so that that's it yay <laughs>